Okay, so we're going to take our understanding of scatter plots and we're going to go just a little bit further. At this point, hey, we know what scatter plots do. Basically, we're just trying to find out is there a relationship, uh, if it is, whether it's positive or negative. But at the same time, it could also show us that, hey, there's no relationship. But the new part that we're going to go to is uh, how can we say something other than no relationship, positive relationship, or negative relationship? And so let's take a look at this right here. Here's the scatter plot, and if we said, hey, please describe this relationship, I hope that you already know this is a positive relationship. I hope you already know that. But how do we actually go and, and try to describe this and make ourselves sound a little bit better than just saying, hey, it's positive? Well, um, the first thing I would do is I would actually state it like this. There is a positive relationship, and then you take a look at what your x-axis represents. In this case, it's temperature. So there is a positive relationship between the temperature, whatever is right there, you just kind of slide into this uh, sentence that we're building here. And what's on the y-axis? The number of ice cream cones sold. And so we write that. So there's a positive relationship between the temperature and the number of ice cream cones sold. The next thing I want you to do is, is that if it's a, a positive relationship, I want you to look at what's happening. When your x is very small, your y's are small. But when your x's get bigger, you'll notice that your y's get bigger. So you would say this, hey, as your x value increases, and instead of saying x value, you'll just put down whatever they're using here. In this case, temperature is your x value, so we'll say as the temperature increases, you'll notice that the ice cream sold also increases. And so that's how you would actually handle a description of a positive relationship. You can do it in two sentences. Now, how do we do the negative relationships? This is a bogus scatter plot. I mean, this is not really good, but it's just one that I had to show a negative relationship. So how would I do this? Well, I would say there is a negative relationship between age and average debt. So there we go. There is a negative relationship between age and average debt. As age increases, again, we start with this x-axis. As your x gets bigger and bigger and bigger, you'll notice that your y starts to decrease. So you'll say as age increases, the average debt decreases. That's how you would handle a negative relationship. Two sentences and you're done. You just make sure that you pop in the labels for X and Y into your sentences and it makes it sound a lot better. And last one, let's take a look at a no relationship. Basically, it's, it's no shock. Um, shoe size does not uh, change the number of colors in a rainbow. So you would say there's no relationship between shoe size and colors in a rainbow. And there's no need to go into extra detail.